She's here. She's finally here. I am getting a new pet or I have a new pet. Um, I'm going to unbox her right now. Hopefully she made it alive. She's been on a journey trek across the country for the last three days. Um, before I get into this, um, yes, I got a jumping spider as a pet. I have done a crap ton of research and I really wanted to get more rats, but my life right now is so crazy and chaotic. I don't have the time and the energy to be able to fully invest in something that needs a lot of care and attention. So I thought maybe a jumping spider because they're very easy. Um, to maintain and to keep as pets. And one of these days I eventually want to possibly get a tarantula. So <laughs> I was like, let's start with the jumping spider and see how things go. Now, before I get into anything else, you guys see here that this little baby was shipped via USPS priority mail. Um, uh, I went through a breeder um, online and uh, I wish I would have done more thorough research because technically it's illegal to ship spiders uh, via UPS and USPS. The only legal route it is to take when shipping spiders is FedEx. Now, however, this breeder I will not be going through again just for the simple fact of I wasn't aware of that information prior. Um, so please, 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 please do your research and do not buy from a breeder that does not ship FedEx. I did want to mention enclosures. I do have this small sling enclosure that I got from Amazon. Um, I do really like this and depending on the size of her, I believe she is a fourth instar, meaning I believe she's on her fourth molt. So she's still probably going to be pretty tiny. By the way, this is a Phytopus regius. So this is also known as a regal jumping spider, but I have this just in case she's super tiny. And then I did put together a Zilla micro enclosure here with some little cuties. I will be putting out like a full like um, DIY thing about that enclosure specifically. I have taken some of the things out just because I don't want her to be so crowded in there and also um, I don't want her to be able to like lose her prey and things like that. So yes, um, oh and also once she does mature fully, I will upgrade her to a tarantula cribs uh, medium sized treehouse. That's a wonderful enclosure for adult jumping spiders. So without further ado, I just wanna see and make sure that this little baby made it to me alive. I really hope she did. She came all the way from Florida. I really need to find a breeder who is closer to me. Um, I would ideally love to find one local within my area so I could just do pickups, but I don't know if that's necessarily a reality, but here we go. Let's see. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's been so warm lately. Here she is. Okay, let's see. How are you, sweetie? How are you? Ooh, you got a wormy in there. I see you. Oh my goodness, you're, she's so tiny. So yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna end up putting her, I think she's alive. There's a couple wormies in there with her. She's so tiny. I got crickets um, the other day, but I don't think that she's gonna be able to handle them. Oh my gosh, I hope she's alive. Okay, let me open this up and see. <gasps> she just moved, okay, she's alive. Ah! She made it. She made it. She's so tiny. Let me grab my camera so you can kind of see what I'm looking at here. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at here. She's just in this little cup. She has made herself a nice cozy web. And so yeah, she, and also, also upon further research, I realized and found out that you are not supposed to be shipping these little guys if they are below their fifth and sixth instar. Um, she's between three and four, so she's about three to four months old, um, is what the breeder had said, but she's so little. Oh my gosh, let's, let's open this up. Oh, I'm shaking. I've, I, I'm so excited. She's so small. Where'd you go, baby? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, you made, 
Oh, you made plenty of little nests, huh? Hi, sweetheart. Oh, your worms are very stinky. So here were the little mealworms that were in there. She is so tiny. Let's see if I can grab my little paintbrush and kind of coaxed her out of here. Let's see. Oh, she's so tiny. Come on, cutie. Come on out. Come on out. Hi. Hi, cuteness. Oh, you are spooked. Oh my God, you are the cutest. Oh, let me get my catch cup. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh my God, you're so little. Okay, I'm just gonna put that over her for a second. <laughs> She's so cute and tiny. Oh my God, I love her. I need to make an ASAP trip to the pet store really quick though because I need to get her something smaller because I think the crickets I got, they're the smallest size, but I think think they're gonna be too big for her I will test it I'll give her one just to see um, but I'm thinking that it might be too overwhelming for her so let's go ahead and put her in this little this little one first here oh my god she's so bolty oh my god hi baby oh my god hold on let me let me spin you guys around and see if I can show you guys how freaking cute she is. Oh, she's gonna escape. Hi, cutie. Oh my God. I love her already. Sh look at her little leopard spots. Oh. Hi, Angel. She's so cute. Are you kidding me? Hey, look over here. Oh, don't run away. Oh, she's on the catch cup. Look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, she is hunching over. What are you doing, cutie? Oh my god, she's so cute. Hi. I love you. So I have named her Penelope. Hi cutie. Oh my god, she looks like a little leopard. Okay, so I'm gonna put her in this enclosure, this little um this little small one here. Look out! Come on. I'm just kind of coaxing her with my little paintbrush here. Yeah, there you go. Good, good job, girlfriend. Good job. All right, get in there. All right, so she is in here for now. I'm going to try to give her a cricket. I don't know if she'll take it just because it might be too big and overwhelming for her, but we can try. She's going to get some water. Good. Hi, sweetie. Oh, she loves her water. She's so cute. She was thirsty. I don't know if she's gonna eat this cricket. She's going for him like she wants to. Oh my God, she might. Get him girl, get him. You got this. Don't be scared, you got this. Get him. Get him, girl. You got it. I know you're hungry. Yeah, get him. She's unsure. Get him, girl. Ooh, she wants to. Oh, she tried. Look at her. Oh my God. She's like, get back over here. Oh, she tried. That makes me happy that she at least tried. Oh, he's coming back. Get him, girl. Get him. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. 
So I might have to wait a little bit to put her in the larger enclosure just like I expected because Zilla enclosures are freaking awesome. I love this front open door. However, on the top here, don't know if you can see, on the top right here and then on the bottom right here where the door like hinges open kind of, um, little babies like that, they can sneak through those super easy and I do not want her getting lost. So I think I'm gonna keep her in this little guy. I do have some more um, uh, tarantula cribs coming. Uh, I have one of the small tree houses and then I have one of the medium tree houses. So I think honestly, I will just keep her in this little tiny one um, just for the next few days until that smaller tarantula cribs comes and then I'll put her in the small one and then maybe once she gets a little bit bigger um, I can upgrade her to the Zilla or whatever. I just don't want her getting through the holes. Also, there is a quick tip though. Um, I may end up just like, if I do end up putting her in there when she's smaller, I'll just put little pipe cleaners through those holes so she's not inclined to sneak through them, um, just like while I'm not using the door. And then when I'm using the door, I'll obviously take the pipe cleaners out or whatever. But yeah, she made it here. She's alive. This is my little Penelope uh, Fittipus Regius, aka known as the regal jumping spider she is so precious i can't wait to see her grow up um i will post about her here and there um, maybe i'll do some updates hi sweetie oh my god she's so cute i know this isn't everybody's cup of tea and i know that you guys are probably like expecting me to get like something like a rat or another rodent or something along those lines but they're just so precious. I've loved jumping spiders for so long and I have finally just committed to actually fully doing research and getting one of my very own. So yeah, this little cutie. Hopefully she gets her prey. Um, I am going to make a trip to the pet store today though and get smaller options for her. The reason I didn't get fruit flies is because they were out, go figure. Um, so maybe I can get some smaller little mealworms because she seemed to have do, done just fine with one about this size. So I think, I think I can, I think I'm safe that route. Um, so yeah, we have her. She's so sweet, little Miss Penelope. And oh, she jumped down. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my God, she's so cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned because I will be doing that um, enclosure video tutorial thing. And um, I will talk to you all soon. Stay updated. Um, I'll probably post on my like personal Instagram, not so much my Manda through 1409 page, just because I know some people are kind of like freaked out by spiders and stuff. But if you have arachnophobia, these are the guys to start to help cure it, <laughs> so I've heard. I don't have arachnophobia, but my fiance does. So I'm hoping that we can help cure him a little bit. <laughs> All right, so until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be good.